hello everyone okay in this video we will see how to uh, you know uh, create uh, customer web login so this is the, this is the new feature a feature that we have introduced in uh, in this next new release in was 3000 web v3.0 so let's go to accounts and customers we'll see new option web login i click here the very first option is generate web login i'll simply click here i will enter my customer email address once i hit submit an email will be sent to the user with username and password which you can use to log in let me go to my email and check okay user has been created and email has been received i will use this information to log in to the customer account i'll simply click login okay i have successfully logged in okay now this is our uh, you know customer panel on dashboard we have similar options which we have on admin but on users that uh, on customer dashboard he can only see information related to to the uh, to his account like you can see uh, online gateway information on for his mapping gateway like capacity can get calls right now there is there is no connected call so it's showing zero again we have detailed view of today's stats brief information regarding his live calls and mapping analysis report for for today and his recently added payment history next we have live calls from this section he can see how many live calls are connected on his account so there is on this current section uh, you know there is no calls connected on rates he can view all the area rate prefix area prefix and the billing rate and billing cycle accordingly next is mapping gateway here the customer can see all the ip addresses that admin have you know added from admin panel to this customer you can also see the capacity and if the the you know the ip is locked or unlocked and the priority similarly we have next option cdr in reports if we go there you can see all the connected calls reports as well as failed call reports the next option we have mapping analysis the customer can see the analysis of his mapping gateway acd and asr and other stats next we have option finance here once the billing report is generated you will see uh, i mean your customer can see his billing report by clicking on i icon he can download and view the billing report <coughs> sorry okay now on this section for each billing report a unique id is generated by system and he can download this billing report by clicking download it will be downloaded in pdf format or either he can print it directly from this page next option we have invoices once the balance is added his invoices will invoice will be automatically generated he can view the invoice by clicking on i icon now here's his invoice okay S finally he can change the password 
by going to settings tab the next option we have balance option you can see his remaining balance from this account one option which is missing right now is online payment let me pause this video and enter uh, you know uh, paypal information so i can see the payment button on this page i'll pause the video and i'll come back again okay let me make a refresh the payment button is there at balance i have added uh, you know paypal information on admin account on next video uh, uh, i'll i'll show you how to you know add paypal information on your admin panel here we have uh, you know uh, add balance button once user will click here user can enter the amount that he want to recharge and in, in, into his account once he will click on add balance user will be redirected to paypal where he can you know make the payment and his payment payment will be automatically added into his account and this field will be updated on success of the payment okay so here we uh, have to end this video we have gone through uh, with the web login of uh, users of customers and we have seen the interface of uh, customer web panel we have gone through uh, what options customer can see into his account see you on next video then bye bye